Okay guys, tonight we're going to talk about truncating tables and of course we're going to do it in PowerShell. Uh, I got this question from a user just this afternoon actually, so I thought I would film it here real quick. Uh, what he wanted to do was uh, he wanted to truncate the tables in a certain schema and he couldn't figure that out so here's how we're going to do that. We're going to go into PowerShell here. You notice how, here let me lower this down a little bit. You notice how we're already in the tables node, right? We've we all know how to get there by now. If not, then go watch one of my you know hundreds of other videos on this, and you'll see you'll see how to do it. Uh, but uh, first, let's pull up a directory, and I'm I'm just going to kind of talk you through this uh, step by step, right? I, I like to show you how to do things, not just give you the code. So okay, good. There's a list of tables. Um, let's go ahead and get a list of all the tables in the sales LT schema, let's say that those are the ones that we're going to get rid of, okay? So we'll say directory, we'll pipe that to aware, don't forget your curlies, schema equals sales LT. Okay, good. Now you can see now we just have the two sales LT, or the, the sales LT tables, the two DBO tables have been left out. Perfect. So now we got to know. Now we got to figure out how we're going to truncate this data. Uh, let's go and do a git member on directory and see what methods we have available to us. So I'll do a git member. Eh, I mean a directory git member. Okay. So we're here in the properties. Let's go up to the methods, and right away I see truncate data. Now I also see an alter. And remember what I've always said. Anytime an object has an alter method, it wants you to use it. But this is that one exception. I found that out the hard way that when you when you call the truncate method, it does not require you to call the alter method. It just goes ahead and truncates the table. I think drop table is the same way. There's a drop over here too, right? Yep. Drop is the same way. It doesn't require alter. I thought I thought that was a little uh, inconsistent. So, let's get back up here to our line. There we go. So we've got our tables. Now we need to do is pipe that to a for each. And for each one of those, we'll call truncate data. And it's really that simple. Now, so that we're not staring at a blinking cursor, let's just print the name of each table as we truncate it. Oh, you know what? Uh, da -da -da -da. These guys probably have a bunch of uh, uh, a bunch of uh, RI on them, so they've got uh, foreign keys. So we probably aren't going to be able to truncate a lot of these. But look, we were able to truncate some of them. Let's see which ones we were able to get. Okay, so there were two of them: sales order detail and customer address that we were able to do. Uh, and that's really nothing uh, against PowerShell or against anything. You you just can't truncate uh, you, you can't truncate tables that have foreign keys period. So uh, uh, anyway, um, that's how you do it here. Let's go ahead and do it in the DBO schema too, just to, just to show you that we can get the entire schema. DBO. There we go. See, we got both the tables there. And if we come here, and then we got zero row counts. And uh, really, that's it. There's nothing more to that. Just remember on this one, you don't have to call the alter method if you notice. Uh, but it's not going to hurt, hurt it if you do. It's not going to do anything to it whatsoever. So uh, anyway, that's it. Talk to you later.